First at five this evening, an intense manhunt continues in and around Franklinton for 39-year-old Kaunda Lopez McGee, jailed on charges of aggravated rape and auto theft. McGee escaped escaped custody in the wee hours of the morning as he was being transported back to jail from a local hospital. Three years ago, McGee led authorities on a week-long manhunt in a previous escape. WDSU's North Shore reporter Heath Allen explains the similarities between this escape and the last one. He is a bad guy. Take a close look at this man. You've likely seen him before. 39 year old Conda McGee escaped the custody of Washington Parish Sheriff's deputies this morning around 2 30. Since then, authorities from several agencies have been combing an area just off Highway 10 in Franklinton in an effort to recapture McGee. Men, dogs, even aerial drones. Here's what happened. Sometime last night, inside the Washington Parish Jail, McGee began to complain of severe pain in his shoulder. EMS was called and recommended he be transferred here to the Riverside Medical Center for further treatment. So one of our officers transported him to the emergency room in shackles and in handcuffs with a, what's called a black box, which is an instrument that goes over the handcuffs so you don't have access to the uh, keyholes. After treatment, McGee was released to return to jail. But then on the way back, after having taken some medicine that might make him nauseous, he complained that he was about to throw up. So the unit pulled around the corner here on Carter Street and stopped. They got out and opened the back door just in case McGee was going to be sick, but instead he bolted, took off down this road straight into the woods. It's been a multi agency manhunt ever since. McGee actually escaped three years ago. A similar manhunt lasted a week before McGee was captured after a brief but intense shootout. When he escaped, McGee was still handcuffed and the waist chain still attached. He was wearing a blue jumpsuit and gray thermals. But the question now is how did he get out of the shackles on his ankles? We'll get together and do what we call a post mortem, which is just really a, an, an assessment and discussion of everything that went on, you know, what happened, how it possibly could have happened, what we could possibly do to prevent it in the future. McGee is 6'2", weighs about 165, and is considered dangerous. He does have family in the Franklinton area. If you have information that could lead to McGee's capture, call the Washington Parish Sheriff's Office or 911. On your side in Franklinton, Heath Allen, WDSU News. There is a $2,500 reward for information leading to the capture of Kaunda McGee. Franklinton area residents are urged to lock their houses and their cars and to leave outside lights burning throughout the night. And again, McGee is considered dangerous. If you think you see him or have information, contact the Washington Parish Sheriff's Office at number 985-839-3434.